Cooper Cup's going for 23 games in a row with over five receptions. Uh, Atlanta on the road, however, as an underdog of 10 or more points, Kev. They've covered eight of the last ten. So these big spreads, doesn't matter what you think of the teams, the big spreads can be pretty scary. Yeah, it, which is fair, and it's early in the year to yeah. be laying this kind of a number. And this spread's moved around. I believe the open mic was somewhere near 13. Yeah. It was underneath double digits at one point. We currently sit at a flat 10, considering this game is not going to kick off until past 4 p.m. Eastern time. I think there's a chance that we still see more movement, whether that's a 9.5 or a 10.5. I can't get a good read on it, but I think there's a chance that that comes into play. What's really interesting to me about the Rams, right, of all these teams we're going to talk about here and their week one disappointments, who is the most concerning? It's the Rams. Now, they played the Bills, right? These other teams, right, ugly losses, maybe not the best competition. Green Bay played Minnesota. They're solid. Matthew Stafford, three picks. He was awful in the football game. Yeah. Now, Stafford last year led the league in interceptions, so interceptions aren't anything new. It's the elbow. Is Matthew Stafford 100%? If not, the Rams are in big trouble all year long.